But good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you're watching back out again today because we loves it. Dog, oh my god, can we stop with the dogs? No! Every time she sees a dog, she's got like dog Tourette's. Dog! Have you seen dogs? Yes, I have. Exactly. Right. What are we doing? Dig. Dig. Well, well to be honest, let's be open and honest with you. We've already been for a dig. I've got to do an intro. So, this is the intro for the dig you're about to watch. Although it's not beginning, it's the end because we've got to do the beginning. So, it's yeah. at the end. Yeah. yeah. Right, we are about to test today on a field <laughs> which I haven't been on many years. Many years, but it's still produced. It's still producing good stuff. Um, yeah, Holly was using Knox, I was using Deus 2. Uh, this is almost like getting back into the swing of things. It's like almost like my first decent hunt with my arm. It's not even better yet, Eve. I've got the hospital again tomorrow um, for my arm, but it's good enough to dig. So, hence, we did a dig. Right, if you like this sort of thing, metal detecting, the British countryside, um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. Stupid customers. Stupid customers. <laughs> I thought you were checking into your own Roni fans then. Right, if you <laughs> if you uh, if you want to get into metal detecting for any paraphernalia for all, don't forget to check out Spinner Disc, which is in between me and Holly. Oh um yeah, ten percent discount code below. Right. Anything more to add, Holly? Um, the weather was nice. I didn't sweat. It was lovely. 10 out of 10. And it was easy to dig. It was. Shame about your knee. You'll find that now. Bye. Off the drop. <laughs> oh, Holly's just setting up. <laughs> oh, a lovely grass field to go on. I haven't been on this field for about ooh, three years. But it's a lovely pasture field. I have had good stuff up here, so hopefully it continues. My hair does feel very poofy. Your hair feels very poofy. <laughs> oh yeah, Holly's using the Equinox 800. I'm using the Dust 2, which I've mean, no, just switched it on. Chatting away. But anyway, let's gas in. Let's see what we can find today. Oh. On this glorious day, we might get a bit wet looking at them clouds. I hope so. Yeah. Those clouds. <laughs> oh, is that a bit of rain? Already. I've only just... We've only just gone on the field. I hope so. I right. Hope it rains. You're getting wet. Good. <laughs> Alright, ladies, my first signal is in here. It's uh, 70. It's in the clod already. Let's have a little winkle around with a magical pointer and see if we can find it. Uh, it sounds quite clean, you know, so it could be something. Could it be a bit of rubbish? I took. I do remember having three or threes on this field. So, what is it? Come on, get out and show me. No stone. Can you guess what is it? Shit, no, neither can I. It's in here somewhere. A bit of lead? No. Oh, oh, oh! Shut up. <laughs> That's my first signal on here. It's a love token. I think it's a love token anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to tell Holly what I've just found, but I think it's a William the Third love token looking at. Holly? Holly? <laughs> She's already down there. I want to go show her. That's amazing. Just going to leave my stuff there. I just found it and walk down and see if she can identify what it is. I know what it is. I'm sure many of you know what it is. But I'm trying to teach her to see if she can identify some finds. So with her eyes only, we can see if she can figure it out. Holly, I've got something for you. Huh? No. You ready? I want you to do your best to identify it oh, from what I've taught you. I have no brain, you know this. You have no brain. I'm right. a human sponge, but the opposite. Guess what that is? You should know what that is. I feel like it's one of those token things that gets bent and thrown. It's a love token, correct. Well done, you're learning stuff. I did a thing! <laughs> That's real cool. Yeah, silver love token. Nice. Well yeah, done, I sir. think it possibly William the third, but I'm not too sure. It's cool though, it's like my second signal. I did 
Oh, Dig up a, a washer. I said my first signal, but it, I dug that as an iron washer. Nice. But yeah, that is. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. I might as well try and hit you a bit of a live. This is a nice 81 signal. Yep. I'm going to try and dig up a live with a bus car. I might need to make sure where it was so I don't spend hours. Yeah, I know roughly where it is. It's about hither. Can you guess what it is yet? It's a nice signal, so it could be a coin. Could be. Could be yet another coin. Why did I stop doing this field? I don't know. It seems to be packed full of signals still there. Is it in or out? It's in the clod. Whatever, it's still bringing up an 80. Alright, should I do it old school way? Grab your coil, grab a handful of mud, not in there. Oh, my hand. Not in there, not in there, not in there, not in there. Where is it? All right, let's get the pinpoint of truth out. I'm doing a live, not. Oh, it's close. Oh, what's that? It's a chunk of lead. Just a chunk of lead. We're going to wrap up a bit of a butte. It looks possibly like a musket ball that's hit something, maybe. Because look at that. There. Perfectly round bit. Yeah, not sure. That's why. It... Yep, cool. It's in the hole. Off the chop. Alright, this one. I was going to do a live dig on it, but I didn't. Don't know why, but I didn't. It's a nice 92. Uh, I've limited to either here or here, but I think it might be in this bit. Oh, that's why I didn't do a live dig on it, because it's a bit of rubbish. It looks like a bit of a tube or something. Yeah, it sounded too good to be true. Often is. Looks like, um, like an end to an old pole or something. Right, off a chop. Oh, well, 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 that was my first little day. It's a button. Uh, bit of a silver guild on it. But nothing amazing, nothing to write home about, but still rank for butte, give it a dig. Rewarded with a little round disc of metal with a little catch on the back. And he calls himself a button. Right, off the job. This one rang up a bit on the low side, but it seems to be part of a buckle. But to me, that looks like silver. It could be silver plated buckle, maybe. Oh, it's got the green coming out there, look. Yeah, would have been. Have any silver gilded buckles, do you reckon? That's not a bad find, is it? See, it's giving us a silver vibe, but it's definitely got green. I mean, this is really, really sort of low content silver buckle. Part of, party fact of the day so far. Right, I did have an obligatory, which I forgot to film. An obligatory. There, there it is. No, there it is. <laughs> an obligatory musket ball with a little flap folded over. Do do. Illuminati. Right, cool. Let's crack on. Right, I have uh, just found a coin. To me, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna probably say Victorian looking at that. It's in very good condition looking at it. So yeah, I'm gonna say Victorian. Can I get a monocle off it? Oh, there's a date at the bottom there. The monocle could be this side. Let's get a face, let's get a face. Ah, oh. oh, it's pre decimal George Fifth. Oh well. That's what I thought it was. Still, there's another coin in the pot, off a chop. Well, the next signal here, it looks to be probably part of a key, first of all. I think it's just a bit of a party fact or something. It looks like it would have carried on there a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't look that old, I'm going to say. What are your opinions? I'd like to see in the comments below. Do you read all the comments? But yeah, interesting one, that. Right, it's filling the hole. Let's go catch up with holes. Talk about holes, but... Well, catch her a holly. What she found, she found an obligatory musket ball that's got a flat side. So I reckon that's it, something like that. <laughs> what has she found? Top of a They're thimble. from another day. She still hasn't taken them out of her phone's box. A couple of coins. Uh, top of a thimble. Doing all right today. Top of a thimble. Top of a thimble. Uh, a couple of holes to just kind of get my ear back. To tune it in. Yeah. All right, put that back in the pot. Okay. Uh, also, something drastic happened. Uh, do you want to tell people what happened, horse? Yeah. 
She kneeled in the red ant's nest, dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look, dog. See? Right, I don't want to get too excited here. Can you see what I can see? Glinting out of this clod. It's a low number. So it makes you think it could be. It could be. It could be. Foil. You get. You absolutely fucking get. Oh. oh, you bit of bloody foil. Oh, you stuck. Why I hate gold foil. <laughs> My heart went. That was a heartbreaker. Oh, right, let's crack on. Rubbish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am on to yet another coin. I think that's just another pre decimal penny. Still, not bad, Nick. Right up a butte. Oh, yeah, it's got coin counts all over it. But yeah, just a penny of the half penny I already have. So let's try and get the half crowns and stuff now, shall we? All right, let's crack on. Another coin for the pot. Off which one? All right, underneath the national flower of Scotland, a thistle, uh, I come across this. Yeah, oh, I think it's a lead gaming piece, but do you know the more and more of these I find with a square peg in it, I think these have got to have some other use other than just gaming pieces because I find these like all the time. And I know there have been Saxon gaming pieces that very resemble these very, very much, but I'm not too sure. Wooden peg would have gone on the bottom, would have squatted around the board a bit like chess. But anyway, just one of them. Off your flop. Right, I'm onto yet another coin here, but I don't know what it is. I think it might be a Georgian. But I don't recognise that whatever pattern's left on it. It's definitely had a legend around the edge here. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. It's an old one, no matter what it is. Still another coin for the pot. Let's crack on, my laddie, off retrot. Don't you just love when you get a lovely glint of gold that comes up like that? And then you realise it's but a lass a bloody button. <laughs> oh well. Right for right beauty as well. Still would have been a nice button back in its day, but not today. Button. 